Hello everyone, this is Brady. So I have made a live noding to make a preset to achieve a function presenting in Cinema 4D. And in the live noding, I realized an interesting and a critical issue about the usage of direction to rotation node. Since the menu doesn't talk about this, so I will discuss it. And this may also be important to the concept used in future tutorials. So let's start. So here is a very simple setup where I have a controller. Controller is in a collection which is called control, and this control is has been set to a trigger. So basically, the idea is if I'm changing the location, scale, and rotation ruler, then my controller will execute the tree with a time. So the tree will be updated, and I'm putting the location into the direction, and this direction to rotation node will generate a rotation. So the idea is like if I'm asking you to look up then your head will turn up 90 degree. And this is what this node essentially is doing. And, and this rotation ruler will finally output into the transform of our comb. So basic idea is I'm going to use this controller, or you can name that as a target actually. I'm going to use the target uh, to ask my cones to face towards with. And you can see it works pretty well if I'm you moving my target around. It's pretty accurate. And obviously you can also work with some other cases use these nodes, for example, uh, objects mesh data. You can see I have a sphere. So you can see I have a sphere. And I probably, yeah, let's just uh, make it like this. And I'm going to take object instancer. I'm going to hit N so that there are other options like polygon centers, normals. I'm going to put the polygon center to the place. And I'm going to open up the another transform with locations. Put the polygon center to locations, polygon normals to, to the direction to rotation. And the ruler rotation to place. And finally, object to place and uh, select my cones. So you can see instantaneously, I have uh, all the cones, the instance of my cones distributed on all the polygons. And the, an important thing is they are facing outwards uh, um, towards the normal of our sphere. So these nodes can be used for many different purposes. So after this moment, you might think the this direction to rotation function is comparable to a the constraint which is called the track two. So in the, this track two, if I'm selecting the target, you can see it's basically doing the same thing as uh, what we have been doing with the direction to rotation node, and it's basically the same setting. You have a two Z and up x, the same settings as we are doing here. And you can move our target. And they work basically really the same. However, there is some difference between these functions. And I'm going to point in that out. So here, if I move this cone away with constraint, it still works perfectly fine. However, if I'm uh, turn off this constraint and now everything will be taken up by the transform data and this transform data is taken by the nodes now if I try to move with these nodes you can see our cone is not rotating itself towards the target at all so this node is currently not at the function even if I'm moving the cone and this is completely different from the behavior that has been done with the constraint. And this causes more errors if you try to move this target away. And you can see the cone is not oriented towards my target at all completely. It's, this is completely error. So what's, why that happens? Is this a bug? So firstly, this is not a bug, but this is an issue. The reason it happens is because the, this direction to rotation, you define the direction, but
but you didn't define the origin of where you are at. So here the location is always the word origin. So all the direction and the rotation is based on where your direction located compared to the world origin. And that's why if on the axis, if from the world origin my target is looking at dead angles, then my cone will always keep looking at that angle regardless where my cone is. So even if I change the places, it just does not work. So another question tends to be, there are some cases where I need to use a node. For example, I have billions of instances, billions of targets. I'm not going to have time to make 1,000 constraints and 1,000 targets and assign 1,000 target use constraints. So I have to use animation node. But the animation node is obviously not working well in this case. So how to solve this problem? This is the, the point of this discussion. So I'm going to show the solution and then I'm going to explain why. Actually, the, the entire whole thing is extremely simple, much, much simpler than what you think. So firstly, here I'm going to use a combined vector. Uh, this, you don't necessarily to do this specifically, it's simply because I would like to get the location of this object. So I'm going to set this location using this node. But in other cases, you might already have the locations. Then you need the object to transform inputs or object to matrix inputs and so on. These are actually known. So now if I, I'm changing the vectors, the location has been changed, but it's not oriented towards our target. What I'm going to do is extremely simple. So I'm going to link this vector and the location together and to assign a different direction. So, so far we can take a look with 3D Viewer. So our target is at the location of the actual target. What I'm going to do is going to offset this target to, I think, around uh, this location. So that's relatively, there's uh, the same direction, which is compared to the actual object. So basically just to offset our target so that the direction from the world origin is comparable to of that from the actual object. And to do that, it's basically just a vector math. And I'm going to use the subtract. And I'm going to use the target to subtract the, inf the object's direction and now it's it's basically just that simple it's basically really just that simple so you can see from the generated target that this how it actually works it's basically that simple so now you can make this into a preset so let's take a group input so i'm going to take a so vector, so I'm going to take a vector and I'm going to also to take a vector list because sometimes you don't know if you're working with a single vector or multiple object. And then I'm going to take a object. So I'm basically going to duplicate all these objects to the place and I'm going to put the object back. And I'm going to put the vector into B. And I'm going to duplicate these two nodes. Put the vector lists to B. And the location to place. And you can take an output. One is for Ula. And the other is for Ula rotations. So currently you can name that as track two. Or I could always actually make a direction to track. So sometimes uh, it's easy to go with the search direction to rotation and direction to track. So this is kind of easy to call. And because we are working with the same, a single object which has a single vector, 
and I'm going to put the targets and I'm going to put the actually directly put the rotation to place so I'm basically saving a lot of nodes by making this preset and it works pretty well and although we're actually looking at the 2D view but uh, it's presumably should work with 3D as well and uh, it works pretty well and if uh, I think it's basically done and let's test another thing the reason this um, preset is kind of important uh, is like if I'm taking object in sensor so now I have a grid and I want like them to orient it towards my target what I will do is basically put the vector list and output the rotations and you can see it's tracked to the our target very well so this is basically just the one a kind of basic idea about how this actually works but I'm actually thinking more other advanced function with this preset but this is just a path so you can still name that as direction to track and this is um, I, I think this is done there are also some additional function I will add later to make this preset more powerful like the fourth so some of them were oriented some of them were not actually this is um, this is a purpose of the live noding I, I think currently this is it I, I try to make this as simple as possible so I hope you get the kind of idea so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll probably see you next time bye bye